Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Sideline Scoop. So I thought today I wanted to sort of look into Calvin Ridley and sort of give my opinion on why I personally believe he can be a top 10 wide receiver in 2020 because there's some stats and some splits from last season that you sort of look at where he was in the opportunity he had. I believe that he can replicate that and put up top 10 numbers in the 2020 season. And the fact that right now in ADP, he's been picked in like as around like the 17th guy that he can really provide some value with where he's being picked right now. So if we sort of take a look at his stats from the past two seasons in 2018, he put up 64 receptions for 821 yards and 10 touchdowns. And then last season, he had 63 receptions for 866 yards and seven touchdowns. And he finished as a 27th wide receiver overall in 2019. And one thing that is important to keep in mind is last season, he missed his final three games because of injury. And because of that, I think he could have gotten closer to becoming a wide receiver one last season. Um, and I think he would have broken the thousand yard mark uh, if he had played those final three games. So if we sort of take a look, though, at where he ranked in the per game basis, in standard, he was a 13th ranked wide receiver. And in PPR, he was a 17th ranked wide receiver. And so for him personally, I believe that that is his floor for what he is capable of um, in 2020. I think around that, like where basically where he's being drafted right now um, is basically his floor, in my personal opinion. So here, I'm just going to throw up some ADP stats right now. It's sort of where he's being taken. This is from Fantasy Pros, as you can tell. Um, but I put up some guys ahead and behind him. So the guys going ahead of him are Adam Thielen, Cooper Cup, and A.J. Brown. And the three guys going behind him are Ke uh, Cortland Sutton, Keenan Allen, and Robert Woods. So right now, this is a PPR ADP. So he's being taken as a 17 wide receiver. And if, you wanted, if you're in standard, he is uh, the 19 wide receiver off the board. And he's also being taken around 45th overall. So depending on if you're in like a 10, 10 league, 10-team uh, league, 12-team league, it'll sort of fluctuate, but you can probably get him at the end of the third round to the fourth round. So I just wanted to put that up there to sort of give you a proper idea of basically where he's being drafted uh, at this current point. And then one big reason that I really think he can be successful is if you sort of look at his final six games, because I don't know if you guys remember, but from weeks one to seven, Muhammad Sanu was on the Atlanta Falcons, and then after week seven, he ended up going to the New England Patriots. And if we take a look at his splits, from when Calvin Ridley was playing with Muhammad Sanu on the team and when Muhammad Sanu left the team, there's just a big, massive difference. And so here, I just want to throw it up right now. So as you can see, when you take a look at the uh, first seven games, when he was playing with uh, Muhammad Sanu, he put up 12.9 PPR points per game. And then take a look at his next six games. He put up 17.45 points per game when Muhammad Sanu left the team. And if you take those six games and stretch them out to 16 games, which I think just really shows what is possible, he would have finished as the fourth ranked wide receiver tied with Cooper Cup with 270.5 PPR points last season. And I think that his those six games with Muhammad Sanu gone is basically his upside and shows what he is capable of um, on this Falcons team. Because in this 2020 season, Muhammad Sanu, of course, still isn't on the team. And they didn't really bring in that many weapons that I think will challenge those targets. And so I really think that those six games show his potential um, in the 2020 season. Another interesting thing to take a look at is in those same six games, Julio Jones averaged 14.4 14 point, 14 .4 points. So Calvin Ridley was outproducing him when it came to fantasy points. And so I think one thing to look at is this is Calvin Ridley's third NFL season. And I think at some point Ridley will overtake Julio Jones. I don't necessarily think it will be this season. I think Julio will finish ahead of him. But I think that the, the gap between him is going to continue to close. And I think that when you just take a look at third-year wide receivers, they've played two years in the league. They have a lot more experience. They really understand what's going on. And I think this is just really a year that Calvin really can really break out and put up top 10 uh, wide receiver numbers. I don't think it's that, that, that uh, what I'm trying to say. So I don't think it's that crazy to really think that Calvin really can put up top 10 numbers. Um, with, when you take a look at those splits and basically how he's improved um, last season, but that's basically what I want to share on Calvin Ridley. Hopefully you guys got some value from that. If you did, feel free to like the uh, video down below and subscribe. I put out like five videos a week. So if you want some more content, feel free to subscribe. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next video.